Hello people, this is Simran Verma from Informatica Private Limited and in this video I'm gonna discuss how to create an application and configure Elasticsearch in provisioning tool. As mentioned, the agenda of this video is application creation in provisioning tool. Along with that, we'll also discuss the configuration of Elasticsearch in provisioning tool application in provisioning tool the user interface layout that you want to design must be associated with a data director application to create that data director use application editor therefore this means that in order to access any of your data model via thin client that is e360 page first you need to have an application associated with that therefore we define the application in our provisioning tool page then only we can access that data model in our thin client that is e360 the ui view which we use therefore for that we use application editor in provisioning tool we have database list in that we'll first select the database for which we need to create an application and then we'll follow the step the step says that first we need to click on configuration then application editor the application page appears in which you can see the list of applications created then you can choose the option create to create an application in this application properties panel therefore in there you will find so many properties which has to be defined they are name name of the application that appears in the application panel display name name of the application that appears in data director source system source system with which you want to associate the application session time out time in minutes to wait before an idle data director session can timed out display default record view enables the default record views the name of the default record views appear in the view list in data director smart search enables the search menu option in the data director navigator bar queries enables the query menu option in the data director navigator bar queries dialog in application this option appears when you enable both the smart search and the query option therefore these are the options which you can check mark as per your requirement it's not mandatory to check it every time you create the application it depends if you want to have smart search and it depends if you want to create queries or saved queries enable the query dialog box in application option to allow to use of query to search for record within a record view such as matching records or using or while using a component such as related records note both the query and search menu appears in the data director navigator bar also in your smart search will have on the right top of your e360 page if you enable smart search there you uh, you can select your business entity and in that you can search for the record that will help help you for a better search now we'll discuss about configuration of elastic search for that we need to we need to provide the url which is https then two slashes are uh, followed by the server host name then the port number 9200 this is the port defined for elastic search to provide this we need to follow the steps which is first you need to log in with proper credentials then select the ors for which you want to configure the elastic search then we need to select configuration infrastructure settings and elastic search there you'll have elastic search page and then clicking on create button and then adding the node you can create the elastic search node and therefore it will get configured you can go with apply and save option to add more nodes to the cluster add node details as discussed in 1 to 7 points therefore if you add multiple nodes like this therefore your elastic search configuration can be done in provisioning tool in the same way now i'm gonna show you demo for this so for demo i'll use my admin credentials and log into provisioning tool page this is database list here i have my three database lists in from which i'll select one that is i'll select cmx ors now we'll as discussed first we have discussed application editor so we'll go with that and then we'll go with yes that is infrastructure settings so i'll go with 
application creation then i'll select application editor therefore this is the page which i had been talking that your application page will appear and at the right side you can see the uh, applications list which has been created and therefore i'll show you already created one these are the properties we ha which we had been talking about name display name source time session timeout display default and then search options we have three smart search queries queries dialog in application now i'll let you know how to create we'll create on create click on create option therefore we'll have these options with empty fields i'll go with some random name that is cmx underscore mno sorry cmx underscore mno i'll take admin only as my source system therefore this session timeout time is in minutes so you can provide accordingly and i'll check mark these options as i have told before as well that these you can check mark as per your use case you need not to follow the same thing as we are doing here that i mean you need not to understand it like this way that the checking mark of these options are mandatory it totally depends on your use case whether you want those fields in your navigator bar or not then we'll go with apply the changes were applied successfully similarly we'll do publish before publishing i'll let you know that in this application you can associate the business entity search configuration and default display formats therefore when you will access this application through you via through your e360 page that is your ui view then from there you can see all these business entities and everything which has been configured to this application now i'll go with publish yeah the changes were su published successfully now we'll discuss for elastic search for that we as we have discussed we'll go to infrastructure settings here we have elastic search page appeared click option we'll go with click see we'll have to create add note to it we have create option here we'll go on create then here i'll provide my node name this node name should be similar to the node name which has been defined in your elastic search properties file make sure you give the exact same name otherwise you'll get an error here we'll define as discussed https and then the server host name along with the port now we'll click on apply we'll see that the changes were applied successfully therefore our node has been defined in this elastic search cluster in order to add multiple nodes you need to define those nodes in your elastic search properties file with some name and you need to use exactly same name and add over here i'll tell you how see clicking on create you can add another node similarly you can add n number of nodes and define elastic search cluster by following the same steps for all the nodes now we'll click on publish the changes were applied successfully therefore these are just simple steps which you can follow for clear creation of application and also for elastic search configuration in provisioning tool thank you